Hey y'all, Isaac here. It's that time again. I'm gonna play some Super Metroid today. I got kind of a, uh, a fun variation this time where I'm gonna be trying a, a slightly different route, so I'm gonna see how that goes. Oops, ah! Uh, yeah, it's uh, basically just an early Krakomire route, so... Uh, basically after we get Wave Beam, we're gonna go do Krakomire. Uh, and collect a grappling beam and an energy tank and uh, power bombs. And then we're going to head to the wrecked ship after that. So, slight variation in things, and it should be a fun little mix up. Also, like, I don't know, demonstrates some, some different things that we can do. So, yeah, just thought it'd be fun. So, also, I feel less pressure <laughs> when we're. Uh, when I'm playing this route for some reason, uh, I think because I kind of, I haven't had much luck with it. Like, so I did like a, you know, I did a test run, so that's where that time is coming from. And uh, yeah, it didn't go well, that great, but it was, I mean, I'd never done some of the, some of the, I mean, I'd just never done the route before, so. Uh, that's my excuse, I guess. Um, but yeah, so hopefully it'll hopefully it'll go a little bit better. Well, we'll see. Oh, man. All right. Oof. Oh, and then I guess the other thing is I added a couple splits. So I added. Uh, split for the Ceres escape and uh, Croc escape missiles. Yeah, I guess these splits are a little bit different, right? So I had to reorder them. So, and then I added a couple. I added a couple splits uh, in some areas where it was just like a super long split. So I tried to basically stop there from being any like ten minute splits because I don't know. It just makes it. I feel like it's more fun when the splits are shorter, and also it's like nice for me as somebody who's trying to get better, so I can just like, uh, it's a smaller amount of time to look through to see where I lost or gained time or something, so, oof. Bonked on that. Ah. Been practicing uh, some early game strats here, so we'll see if I can manage to pull anything off. But oh, oh darn it! Darn it! <laughs> well, all right, that was not the best. But, oh. but yeah. Anyway, yeah, it's uh, definitely. I've been playing a lot of Super Metroid, and it's been it's been a ton of fun, man. But it's also been uh, kind of interesting. Definitely, uh, so many, so many things that I can get better at. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been it's been nice. I started learning some some strats for the attic that I probably won't use this run. <laughs> Uh, the attic is that room in the, basically at the top of the wrecked ship, but, um, yeah, I don't know, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool learning some of the strats, because it's, like, actually stuff that, like, when I started, uh, like, when I would watch speedrunners, uh, play the game, I was just like, well, I'm never doing that, because that's impossible, um, and so now I'm just, like, starting to actually learn the first step of some of those strats and it's pretty cool i don't know it's pretty exciting it's, you can just like feel yourself making a lot of progress and it's a good feeling <laughs> all right No. Oh no. Ah! Okay, that's sad. 
actually practice this area, but... Oh no! Not, not pulling it off right now. That's okay. Alright. Could have gone worse, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I have a, a new strat for that climb where I'm using a lot more... Uh, I'm basically using a lot more wall jumps and kind of trying to, to squeeze through in a certain... in those spaces. And, uh, yeah, I just need to practice a little bit more. Anyway, I, I've been give, getting it a little bit in practice, but obviously... You know, got some work to do, so that's fine. Alright. <clears throat> but yeah, I was trying to do some... Trying to stay up and, you know, like in that climb ash. I need to pay attention. <laughs> Gosh. I was uh, uh, trying to position myself there and I totally messed it up. And now, uh, this is like the worst fight ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, alright, we finished. So, the key with this fight is, like, there's actually places you can stand where he can't hit you, and uh, I totally did not demonstrate that. <laughs> but I've been practicing it, so... Anyway. Just something we'll keep working on. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I actually had some good speed coming out of that door, but, uh, oops. Yeah, I had some good speed coming out of that door, but, so I was, thought I was going to be able to sneak by that river, but I messed it up. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy because you can be, like, practicing all these strats in, uh, nice, I got that. Hopefully that guy drops a missile, actually. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, it's funny because, like, you practice all these strats and then, like, you get to the run and you just <laughs> beef every single one. <laughs> oh. And then, like, ten runs later, you start to actually get the thing you've been practicing. <laughs> anyway, I guess that's just how it goes. Alright. So, yeah. Anyway. I don't know. I've been practicing a lot of early game stuff. I was practicing the serious escape a little bit, and uh, I don't know some other stuff. But you know how it goes. Oh, geez, that's pretty bad. Just bonked on that door. So I guess I'll just grab these. I started trying to grab super missiles first thing. So I don't know. I haven't actually timed it to see like what the difference is between like grabbing the supers first or doing this little thing. Like whenever I watch someone else do this, they they go the other route. So uh, in that they grab super missiles before they grab that missile. So yeah. Anyway. But yeah, I gotta time it and see what the difference is. <laughs> Still got minus 14 seconds on those first supers somehow. I don't know how that works. Ah. I guess my that tunnel after bomb Teresa was, was decent. Uh. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. Anyway, this croc this croc uh, route is pretty fun. I just uh, there's some things I gotta learn like how to fight Dragon with the. Uh, Grappling beam. Uh, and things like that, so. Some things that I haven't really uh, practiced. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Alrighty. 
And this room's pretty sloppy, but that's okay. But yeah, I don't know. Super Metroid's been a lot of fun, but it's definitely getting to the point where uh, it's taking a lot of practice to actually uh, improve. But so I don't know. We'll see. I might I might start running some other games uh, while I work on my Super Metroid time. Oh man, I forgot to do to try my new trick. I have a trick or a, a, a way of getting through this room now, and I totally forgot about it. Ah. Man, I took so much damage through there. That was so bad. This is what I get for trying to talk about something else. <laughs> Alright. At least we got that. what I was doing in that room. Hey, got the damage boost. That's cool. It's pretty uncommon for me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, some of these rooms I've been working on strats, but man, it is... It's hard getting in an actual run. Ah. Like that. <laughs> oh, okay. We didn't, at least we didn't fall in that guy's mouth. <laughs> yeah, my first, because uh, I did like a test run of the Krogemeyer route, and the test run did not go so well. Oops. <clears throat> Always takes practice, I guess. Takes a while for that last super to spawn. So. All right. Yay! All right. At least, uh, yeah. I don't know. A lot of things we didn't mess up <laughs> on our way to crate. So. I know I've had the thing where I like miss the super or on the door, and then I have to go farm one, and that is just not what you want. All right. Cool. Mess up the crate. Cool. Okay. So yeah, now you can see. I guess if you're looking at the splits, it's like after wave beam, we just go straight to Krokemeyer. So, and then I don't know. There's some other weird things about the route, like we skip ice beam. So. <laughs> I don't know, it just gets pretty kind of interesting uh, when we're... Alright, there we go. Okay. Pretty low on missiles here, so... Alright, cool. At least I got out of that room without <laughs> taking a ton of damage. <laughs> Get some missiles from these little suckers over here. Which is not their official name. Sorry. I didn't get any missiles from them, I guess. That's kind of sad. <clears throat> Cheek. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah! <laughs> Practice the practice a neat little jump there too, which I of course missed. I, I forgot about it. I forgot I had practiced it until like the last second. So I guess there's uh, not much to be surprised about there. Oh, man. Oh, 
Oh, come on, dude. Alright, well, that is sad. Yeah, I've been uh, been practicing the early game so much, I haven't done any of these rooms in a while. <laughs> so, that's whatever. Ah, shoot, I guess we gotta go over here. I mean, who cares about the damage? It took, a lot, it took me a lot of time. <laughs> That's right, this is a speed run. All right. That's why I'm not killing that little dude. Ah, oh, that's bad. Don't want to end up uh, getting hit there from that guy. Which meant that I couldn't roll all the way as far as I wanted. That's okay. It's oh. close. Cool. I got two supers there. That was awesome. Kind of expect the one from the CAC attack, but maybe not from the uh, waiver. There. So I've been wanting to run Mega Man X for a while. I feel like that could be kind of fun. Not even run it, just do like a casual playthrough. Like, I mean, I'll go fa as fast as I can or whatever, but <laughs> not not going to be trying to like necessarily get all the items or uh, get them in the fastest route or whatever. Just going to do it kind of casually, just because it sounds nice. Ah, Alrighty, so we're fighting Krokemeyer right after this, so I'm just gonna get a little bit of energy. Hey, nice, I got a damage boost there. Yeah, I had uh, in one of my practice runs for this, uh, I. Uh, like basically got to Krokemeyer and had like no life left. It was not a very uh, fun fight. I mean the fight was fine. I was just nervous that I wouldn't be able to get the the energy tank after Krokemeyer uh, because my life was just that low. But I ended up being fine. Alright, so this uh, wave beam split's pretty decent, I guess. Which is weird, I don't feel like I played that well. <laughs> oh man, that's so much better. I started uh, jumping, like you can basically just jump off that second little hill uh, type thing there, and uh, been saving a lot of time and stuff like that because I usually, usually used to just bonk. Oops. Okay. Alright, so this is where instead of doing what we used to do, we're going to go down to Krokemeyer. Okay. 
And then, yeah, I don't know. I mean, so there's some nice things about fighting Krakemeyer. Here he is. Man, Moon, Moonwalk messes me up in this fight, but... focus for the Krokmeyer fight. Oh my gosh, dude. It's so annoying when you just like uh, miss a couple of opportunities to hurt him and then he just like starts crawling back a little bit. Alright. I'm gonna be make sure I'm all the way to the front here because I've had just so many dumb playthroughs where I don't trigger the cutscene. Gotta do a shine spark going through this door so that we can get power bombs. So. I should have practiced this, but of course I didn't. <laughs> anyway, looks like we got it on our first try, which is. or not first try, second try, so that's pretty decent. Right, it's fine. <laughs> this doesn't actually like make that big of a difference. Like, uh. I don't know. Getting, getting power bombs early doesn't help us that much, actually, which is weird. Uh, but still. Like, I kind of assumed it would help a lot, but it doesn't. <laughs> when I. Like, the main difference in this route is that you have Grappling Beam earlier, and you have, like, an extra energy tank when you're in the wrecked ship, and that's really helpful. Ah, crap. This is the other thing I should have practiced. Alrighty, come on. There we go. Cool. I think I didn't need to get this here. I could have gotten it, uh, you know, after grapple, but maybe that would have been easier. But just figured, just get it now. All right, cool. Grappling beam. So that means we can use this on Dragon if we want, if we know how to. Um, and we can also use it on. Uh, um, oh, we can also use it to get uh, Spring Ball, which means we don't have to like do the the ice glitch, which is super annoying. So I don't know. That's kind of the the benefits of going this route. Um, that and that, the extra energy tank, which means that, uh, ah, darn it, <laughs> I was trying to damage boost since I missed the shine spark. Um, so yeah, uh, just helps a little bit, so, ah, shoot, ah, <laughs> all right, I gotta stop trying for the shine, sp or the, the damage boost, because I'm dying here. Oh, come on. That's not pretty. Okay. Um, should I get health? I probably don't need it, honestly. Because I'm gonna wimp out and get the, the power refill. Oops. In, uh, at the bottom of the red tower. Ah! And it's not gonna take me this much life to get out of Norfair, so... Yeah, one, another interesting thing is... I forgot. <laughs> oh yeah, I was gonna say, because we're not going to get uh, Ice Beam right here. Alright, nice. 
I'm so bad at using the grappling beam, so I'm always, like, relieved if I don't, you know, terribly mess things up. Alrighty. No! Yeah, so we're not going to get Ice Beam, which uh, is also kind of spooky. I don't know. Just means we have to <laughs> play certain areas a little bit differently. Like, mainly this climb up the Red Tower is the thing <laughs> that get, is uh, different. But Got my little shine spark there. But yeah, this part of the red tower is, is gonna be the part that is uh that is different. Because we don't have ice beam, so we can't just like shoot these little dudes. Um as I'm bad, so I have to Okay, cool. So we have to do do that little wall jump there to uh Anyway, I can definitely see like an alternate route to what we did here where you just stop on the way back up and you pick up uh, Ice Beam, but... Alright, hopefully... Cool, yeah, there we go. Alright, awesome. Dude, I freaking struggled with that the first time I did this route, so happy, happy that we didn't uh, spend a lot of time there. Anyway, cool. So yeah, so now we have an extra energy tank going into uh, the wrecked ship, so we're a little bit more safe uh, energy-wise, so yeah, that's nice. Hey, I got a damage boost. Holy cow. Yeah, you can see I'm minus three minutes from my the previous time I ran this category, so yeah, definitely a huge improvement. I think basically last time I was trying to go up the red tower, and when I put the power bomb, I like basically I just messed things up. But oh, boo. oh no! Okay, <laughs> almost fell back in. Ah, oh, shoot. I didn't want to take damage from that guy. I got spiked. Oh, well. Yeah. So the, the other uh, room where this helps is uh, that, that like, energy tank room in the wrecked ship. Um, that's the other area where it's... Uh, gonna be super nice that we actually have grappling beam so we're gonna save. hopefully we should I mean it we might not save time but uh, I mean we probably will and there's m less of a chance of like our run ending so I don't know I think that's nice about this route I don't know if I'm if I still uh, I don't think I'm gonna switch to it but I might still do the other route but just because, I don't know, it's easier to just practice one route, and, uh, I don't know. Anyway, I just thought it'd be fun to, uh, to try this one once, so. Alright. So yeah, a bunch more health this time, and uh, yeah. Yeah, it's cool not having Ice Beam, actually, because um, Ice Beam can slow you down a lot as you're like, you know when you like uh, accidentally freeze the enemies or whatever, and then they, they get in your way, so anyway, just gotta make sure we pick it up later, and uh, I mean, you basically need it. In order to fight Metroids, so 
unless you want to just power bomb them. All right. Oof. Okay. Wow, that guy got me. And he did a lot of damage, dude. That's pretty sad. One of the, the ghosts, uh, like, popped up in the perfect place to actually, uh, ruin my day. Which is kind of sad. I need to learn the Fantoon fight, man. That's what I was... I haven't I haven't tried to learn any of these boss fights, which is uh, not the best, so... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no! Oh, that was bad. All right. Oh! <laughs> Dude, okay, but that's kind of like what I should be doing, is like, if you learn the fights, you kind of know when to sh like shoot missiles and stuff, and you can just like... Basically, you don't have to wait for this invisible phase. Oh, whoops. Okay, that was just an accident. I did not mean to, to super missile in there. Super missling is like, you know, really slow because he goes through this phase. I usually just do it because I'm like low on health and like this phase is like pretty farmable. Um, but, yeah. So, not the best fan tune fight for sure. But that's okay. Ah, <laughs> ah shoot. Well, I got him. got him with three, so that's fine. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy because he's giving me a lot of fast patterns. So if I if I knew how to fight this guy, then uh, that'd be nice. Eh. Darn it. Alright, I was really hoping that would end the fight, but it did not, because of how I fought the rest of, of the fight. Okay, get some life back here. Looks like my other Fantoon fight was pretty bad too, because... I think we're still fine. I mean, we're still like four minutes ahead. So, that's good. Yeah, I don't have to worry as much about, uh, about health because we got that extra energy tank, so. Why do you get yeah, well, okay. Darn it. <laughs> I never get that uh damage boost, man. I started or I stopped trying for it after a while because I was like, maybe I'm imagining things, maybe it's not a thing, but it's definitely a thing. I just always don't get it. <laughs> Yeah, also, um, I stopped going for it because I'm so bad at the wrecked ship, and so I started, I'm, you know, I don't, if I save my, my energy a little bit, right, like, I'm less likely to die in the wrecked ship, so it was partially a survival uh, thing. Anyway. Survival strat. I don't know. Ah! <laughs> oh well. Ah, oh, man. Took a lot of damage there. That's okay, though. Again, like. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I hate this room, dude. I'm just gonna. Alright, there we go. Oh man, actually so low. Like, so if we if we didn't have this extra energy tank, I probably would have died right there. Which is pretty sad. Alright. So Oh my goodness. 
I didn't think I was going to make it. Yeah, it's definitely different doing these jumps without, uh, or with high jump. But yeah, so, eh, here we go, easy. Um, don't have to agonize over, like, getting that jump perfectly, or getting that jump perfect, so. Just have to agonize over getting out of the room. Ugh. All right, made it. Cool. Yeah, so that's uh, <laughs> that's like the first part of the main advantages of this run. Uh, it's basically that room is you know a lot safer, and the wreck ship, you know, in general. Okay. Oh. So yeah, I was working on some strats for this room, but we're not really ready to try them. <laughs> not, it's not really ready for a run yet. Uh, wow, it really went up there. Seriously? Alright. So we're just doing that. That's pretty slow, but I mean, I don't know what else to do for now. It's like one of those things where I don't really feel like learning a backup strat, you know, because, you know, just don't really want to waste time learning something that's like, you know, really temporary, like a really suboptimal strat, you know, so. Which is basically what I'm doing now. But yeah, so I have a, I'm working on a new strat for that room, which has been pretty crazy. I don't know. Definitely, like, doing some things that I, you know, that uh, I thought were going to be, like, impossible. So, <laughs> yeah, it's been fun. Ah. He just had to be in the way. Alrighty. So, we're doing... This run's going pretty well so far, though. I mean... I haven't... haven't messed up terribly yet. <laughs> Alright, where is this thing here? Okay. Whew. I wasn't, like, perfectly flush against that bottom platform, so I got worried. <laughs> Hey, at least I didn't... I have this bad habit of bombing that little area. Oh, oh no. Okay. Of course it's life. <laughs> So I guess there's enough space where you can like actually charge a shine spark there if you if you're doing the like the early shine spark uh charge thing, the short tapping that we've been practicing. Anyway, that's definitely something I should try out. I ha I need to just try it and see if cuz I you know, I can do a, a two tap now. So if I could get a two tap there, that would be awesome, right? Just fly across that that whole uh, room, probably a little bit faster. And then there's another strat where you like shoot these robots uh, from above. Uh, so I need to learn that one too. <laughs> All right. Ugh, this guy is being unkind. This guy too, man. They're walking all the way to the end of the ledge. That's so rude. They need you to be in the hole, bro. <laughs> get in the get in the pit. Okay. 
I've been messing up this room a bunch in some of my recent runs, so it's nice that we uh, did not mess it up this time. Yeah, I was gonna make a. I have to make my little like fail <laughs> real. Seems fun. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> that was pretty bad. Oh well. I have. I'm having the, uh. What's the syndrome? I'm thinking. Uh. Yeah, basically, I'm four minutes ahead, so now I'm playing a little bad. <laughs> but, uh, because we're four minutes ahead, I don't feel bad for it, which is nice. I don't know. It kind of takes the pressure off. Instead of, like, uh, one of those runs where you're, like, two seconds ahead the entire, the entire time. scariest part of the run. This part's not scary, it's just like, dude, at the end of this, you know, the, the stupid gauntlet missiles at the end just make me so sad every time. Uh, just like, have been missing the double missile get. Missing the double missile get here, so kind of sad about that. I don't know. All right, we got it. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Doesn't seem like it should be that hard, but oh well. Just jumping in, in between those two tiles, but somehow I always manage to mess it up. So. bad bonking on that guy. <laughs> oh well. Again, it's that minus minus four minutes syndrome. Gonna play a little bad, <laughs> probably. Nah, not really. I think it actually does take the pressure off, which probably makes me play better. It just makes me feel less bad when I miss something. Probably do a moonfall there. <laughs> Gotta remember to get my super selected there. I gotta start using these fanfare moments, you know? Like when you when you get an item and it plays that music, I need to start like planning out what's going to happen next. Because a lot of the times I'll forget to like do certain things, but just because I'm like, oh yeah, this room. 
Haven't been here in a while. Oh, jeez. Alright, there you go. Alright. Curious if I would be able to, uh. I already forgot what I wanted to do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was curious if I would, I'd be able to shoot all the enemies and, and run straight through, but of course. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Too hard. So we want to come come out through this other door. We want to get super missiles selected. Oh, oh, that's not super missiles. Oof, that was close. <laughs> I could probably shoot that super earlier. supposed to be that. Alright, whatever. I'm bad. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, this part's, this segment's not so great, but that's okay. Probably lose a, little, a, little, a bit of time here. Ah! I didn't, I missed a little piece of the wall, dude. I'm gonna have to sneak through there. That's not good. All right, that wasn't too bad. Oof. Reach, all right, we got it. Just try my tr my new trick real quick. Ah, missed it anyway. Oh, 
Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Ah. I missed the damage boost. Did I get it the first time through? I think I maybe did. Oh, man, I don't have Ice Beam. <laughs> that's my, like, defense against those guys. Just, if they grab you, you can just freeze them. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, let's see if I jumped on time. Yeah, I did. Alright. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Fish got me. I mean, normally, I would make him pay for that, but... Oh, wow. Okay, he definitely has to pay for that. That's atrocious. That's so annoying, actually. I can't believe it. Well, I guess. Alright, there we go. Yeah, it looks like we're, we're still doing fine. Looks like we lost some... Definitely lost some time in this split, which we kind of expected, so... Man, these, these little fishies are in the most annoying place. <laughs> wow, I barely made that. <laughs> I think I'm going to need a, a visual cue or something. Dude, that was such a bad split, though. Holy cow. That's okay. Okay, awesome. That crab didn't gatekeep me this time. <laughs> yeah, actually I haven't practiced uh, this part of the game in a while. I've just been focused on the early game, so this is my early excuse for when I start playing bad. <laughs> played worse on my uh, other playthrough. Alright, let's see. I can't freeze this guy, so I'm not sure what I want to do there. Yeah, if I had Ice Beam there, then right as you come in the door... Ooh, I got that. I got that jump. That's awesome. Yeah, if you have Ice Beam there, you can just, right as you're coming through the door, you can just shoot... Uh, freeze that guy uh, and then he doesn't get you but I don't have ice beam there's probably another strat for it but so, so I'm just doing that little short hop just trying to get under him ah. okay Ah, dude, these guys. No, I'll stop. Ah, darn it. I don't know why I'm so bad at that. Oh, you got me.
a lot of supers there. Alright, I think he's dead. All right. Man, yeah, I, I used a lot of supers there, which kind of stinks, but that's okay. We have... We have grappling beams, so there's actually a chance we don't even need to... Uh, Any supers for this? Oh man, that's okay. I missed my little halfy attempt, as as usual. <laughs> you know what? Okay, whatever. Darn it. No. You know what's funny is I have grappling beam, so I could actually be using that. I I have not really practiced this room at all with that. Probably another one of those things where it's like not worth practicing because you know ultimately we're gonna be going for a different strat usually. All right. I gotta practice that. I don't think we're ready to go for it yet, but... Ah, shoot. <laughs> oh. Ah. All right. Oh, no! <laughs> okay. So that's kind of what I was, I, I think I'm supposed to be going for there, but I messed it up with the, uh, with the grappling beam. So we'll just wait for him, probably do that goof thing again, and, you know, see how it goes. Alright, should I try it? I don't know. This is so sketch. Oh, I messed it up. Alright, I think we're okay. I think we can... They can, they can get him, I just gotta get him the, the normal way. So we're just gonna wait this out, basically. There we go. Alrighty. There's a, definitely a faster way to do that, but this wasn't the slowest, so... I may have actually saved time on that Dracon fight, which is... Insane. <laughs> yeah, I did. That's in that's so dumb. <laughs> that's how just again. That's how bad I was playing when I was just first attempting this uh, route. Ah, shoot. No, what was that, dude? Uh, not only did I miss the jump, I fell all the way back down. <laughs> so sad. I mean, yeah. It's kind of normal for us. <laughs> okay. Alright, actually, here, let's see the thing here. Just trying to get a nice running start so I'm not going super slow as I'm going through this room. Alright. Usually I'll like bonk on one of those uh, on the ceiling somewhere too, so. Alright. Oops. Alright, whatever. I was thinking about getting that energy tank. I forget if you guys saw, like, my, my current PB, I think. Uh, 
there was like one of those little slime guys that knocked me down and slowed me down a ton. So because of that, I've been thinking like, oh, well, maybe I should be uh, getting that energy tank on the first try just in case something disastrous like that happens again, you know. But anyway, it's fine if I miss it. I'm just going to do it carefully on my way back, so... Oh, yikes. So bad. But yeah, so that makes... I mean, having grapple makes this whole, like, spring ball area a lot less, uh... anxiety-inducing, because I can just... Um, we can basically get spring ball the intended way. We don't have to like, you know, try to shoot that that little um that little dude and glitch through him or any or anything. So I don't know. It's nice. Which I guess is this room. Alright, as long as I can get through the uh, thing. <laughs> Come on, guys. Alright. favorite part. Definitely my favorite part. It's kind of like how getting the items lets you rest a little bit, man. The little item sound effects. That's what, that's what I live for. <laughs> that's why I love this game so much. <laughs> But yeah, so, I don't know. Kind of excited for the Mega Man X run <laughs> already. Just because it's a lot less uh, pressure. <laughs> okay, Spring Ball. I don't know how we gained time on that, but we did. Maybe maybe I got the, the E-Tank on the first try. Oh. That's probably it, actually. Ah, let me out. Alright. Alright, that was not the not the cleanest room there. Alright, um. Hey, that was awesome. Didn't get a uh, shot there, which is great. Yeah, so the other thing about this first uh, early Krog run that I did is that I missed, uh, I don't know, I missed an item. I think I just didn't get the uh, Golden Teresa missiles because, um, because I missed it. <laughs> I fell I fell down and had to oh I didn't want to go back. Because I was just like, eh, whatever, let's just finish this run. Um but yeah, so it was a it ended up being a ninety-nine percent run, which is kinda sad. <laughs> um, so yeah, hopefully we won't mess that up. I've been playing it super safe ever since that happened. <laughs> I almost forgot I had to kill these guys. I was just gonna run out. Oh shoot, he swapped sides. Is he seriously doing this with me? Alright. 
That was uh, pretty, pretty terrible, but oh well. so nice not having to uh, not having ice so you don't have to shoot twice that's it that's, a, that's another reason why uh, I shouldn't play this route because <laughs> I'm gonna get used to things like that and then if I ever play the normal route again I'm gonna be you know firing off one shot and expecting guys to die Play this real safe. Just gonna go all the way to the safe ground there instead of, uh, you know, the alternative. <laughs> wow, that plasma causes so much lag. I was trying to shoot. I have to remember. So when you're coming down that waterfall, if you have plasma, you can shoot through the wall and like clear the. Normally, there's like a little item casing around that, and it's annoying to shoot out of. It's annoying if you have to come out of morph ball and shoot it. So glad we got it. But yeah, yeah. I guess this is one of the splits we added the Meridia reserve tank. So hopefully, it won't take us. You know, that long to get over to Golden Teresa, but I guess we'll see. I gotta get ice, uh, so I'm gonna do that before we go down to fight Ridley. Oops. Ah! <laughs> no! But yeah, so, I don't know. Gotta play Mega Man X. I was thinking about doing Final Fantasy VI playthrough as well. And maybe, uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, some Final Fantasy I also. <laughs> I started uh, playing a Final Fantasy I randomizer. It's been a lot of fun, so. Been having fun. I don't know, I'm like, I like literally just started playing it too. I don't know. I just like the idea of it really enjoyed playing Final Fantasy 1. Uh, I don't know, I, I usually play it about once a year, which sounds absolutely insane, but uh, anyway, I enjoy the game. But, uh, yeah, I, I found a, a rant. Oh, <laughs> forgot what we're doing here. <laughs> Alright, so we're going 
straight over to, uh, oh, rip. That's a little bit of a time loss there. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I thought we were fighting uh, Krokemeyer, but we already did Krokemeyer. So. Oh, no. I thought this would be faster, because you can run on the spikes a little bit and, like, um, get some speed, but I forgot that you can't actually dash in uh, that regular lava, so... Dude. Oh, Holding. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see my controls there. I mean, it's not probably not worth rewinding for, but uh, basically I'm holding three buttons there, and it's such a pain. Not, not even holding. Okay, holding dash and shot there, and, and also doing the space jump. Not my favorite, but... Yeah. Man, I actually gotten a lot better at the two tap without even practicing it, which is nice. Alright. Well, we should definitely be able to get, or, I don't know, beat this. Yeah, I don't know how much time I've saved, actually. <laughs> I was gonna be like, I feel like we're gonna come out ahead on this Golden Teresa split because, I don't know, I always have trouble mathing out, like, how, uh, okay, focus. <laughs> I should maybe consider doing Spring Ball in this room. So, like, Spring Ball, you can actually, like, uh, I don't know. Basically, with Spring Ball, you can... It jumps fast enough that you... Oops. Oh my gosh. Okay. It jumps fast enough that, like, you can kind of, like, land on those crumble blocks and still shoot them. Um, I'm gonna get that. Um, or, sorry. You can land on the crumble block and still jump off of it. So it's a super safe way of going through that room. All right, okay, I didn't make up time <laughs> after all, but uh, still ahead of the previous run by five minutes, which is dope. So. Get a uh, a time that's a lot closer to what my, you know, my other runs time is. My other route, that is. Ah. Messing this up recently. <laughs> so that's good. Hey, we got it. <laughs> Probably game faced so hard there, but what you gonna do? <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay. That's why I've been. Actually, that's why I've been um, spring or just rolling through that room too. It's because I'm like, well, if I step on one of those crumble blocks, I can just like jump, you know, uh, jump right up. So, that, that little block's always trying to mess with me, man. Why are you trying to mess with me, man? Okay. Ah, darn it. Saw that somebody used that strat and I thought it was cool, and then I, I messed it up. <laughs> okay. We opened the door. Okay. Ah, darn it. that what am I doing here you know what I'm actually just gonna all right I got 
gotta make sure I get that guy with screw attacks. I'm coming out. <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> All right, I was gonna try. This. this is my first time actually trying that spark, so I think I would have to jump if I wanted to uh, actually get that to go go over. I don't know how much time it's gonna save me, but gosh, I need to take a take a quick bathroom break. But I'll have to do that after. Ah! All right, one. Hit him once. Two. Three. Four. I don't think. Five. Darn it. Six. Seven. Oh, come on. Ah, couldn't see. Ten. to do. Still a gold split for for this uh, route, but that's uh, what else. Okay, yeah, I gotta take a break real quick. Let's see. Alrighty, okay. Let's get going here. Ah. Alright. Clean. <laughs> AKA not clean. Oh, man. thing it's funny is like because I have grappling beam I always accidentally select it. it's pretty bad <laughs> just not used to having that fourth uh, item so but yeah yeah anyway this is going pretty well so hopefully I don't soft walk on mother brain or something that would legit make me pretty sad <laughs> Alright, 
Okay, okay. Uh, whoops. Alright, I'm so bad. I don't forget a missile. <laughs> it's like also the first time I haven't messed up the, the gauntlet in a long time. <laughs> these days we also got to try to learn the uh wow how did that guy get down there anyway we also have to try to learn in like an any percent run but i feel like any percent runs are so much harder so we gotta get better at the game first <laughs> um which we're slowly doing slowly getting better at the game <laughs> split here for the Norfair Reserve Tank. So that kind of breaks up that little section. Yeah, anyway, the, uh, the original Final Fantasy randomizer I've been playing is pretty crazy because uh, it, it shuffles like all the uh, all the key items around, which is like I guess expected. But like another thing that it like at least the, like they have options for shuffling around like uh, spells as well. So like the, they'll just like realize that a like one of the spells that's late in the game is like gettable from the start. I don't know, it's kind of crazy. My current playthrough, like my white mage has harm four and they got it on level one. So my white mage is like super good. And I don't know, there's also options cause I'm also playing with an option where like they, uh, where harm four when they're, when it's cast by a white mage, like can, damage like normal enemies instead of just undead enemies so that's a pretty big change from the vanilla game I think they just like made it because they they were they wanted white mages to be better which um, I don't know I'm, I'm kind of in support of that change there's also some other like changes to the thief class which make it a lot more viable and like make it a good party leader so I don't know, that's pretty fun. So my current party is actually has a white mage and a thief, which is uh, not normal, I feel like, when you're playing like Final Fantasy. Anyway, the, the original, I mean. Because those classes are pretty gimp in the original, like the vanilla game, so. But 
uh, enough about that. <laughs> yeah, also uh, played a little bit of uh, Crystallis, or yeah. I was thinking that would be a fun game to, uh, to play as well, but um, gotta remember how to play it. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I... Hey, that's not the best, but whatever. I'll take it. Ah. Darn it. You know what? I don't need to do this because I can just <laughs> space jump. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad. Oh, it's so bad. Yeah, well, apparently this split was uh, way faster. Another one. There we go. All right. Which is weird. I don't know what e is even happening in this split. <laughs> That's a lesson. Let that be a lesson to you, youngsters. Ah, oh, my goodness, guys. Alright, let's just try to get this little gate out of my way. Lost a little bit of time there. It's because I've been chatting about Final Fantasy, man. That's the real problem. Oh, come on, dude. Alright, there we go. No, I have to pay attention because I lost time on that. I lost like 30 seconds on that split somehow. Alright, awesome. Hey, did I get the jump? Yeah, nice. Haven't gotten that like in any of my runs, so. Sometimes I, I forget to try for it. <laughs> Four and ten minutes. We can definitely beat that. Uh, I guess I gotta make it there in five minutes if I wanna keep pace. <laughs> Never mind. I mean, we can definitely do that too. That's what's, uh. Yeah, this playthrough definitely, I think I missed. I must have missed a, a missile, right? Hopefully. Or else I'm like building my hopes up. Anyway, I think we should. We'll be. We'll be all right. We'll be. All right. I mean, at least. 
I don't know. I, uh, I'm happy that this run has been going so smoothly because basically I, I recorded a, an early croc video, but I, you know, like I missed a missile at Golden Torizo and like in general, like I, I was playing pretty badly, which is why the, the time is, you know, not that, not that great clearly and why I'm able to make up so much time now. Uh, a million years on that. What's your position? Samus, collect the missile. I don't know what that voice was. I think it was supposed to be George Decay or something. actually have 35 or 230 missiles that's such a good sign <laughs> oh man I did a run where I was like uh I'm pretty sure I got everything and then I ended up missing a missile somewhere I don't know who knows where probably one of the last missiles or maybe the crate the, the warehouse like missiles that are behind crate or whatever. All right, minus six minutes. So that's great. That's actually putting us like close to PB. So verified decent route. <laughs> Just gotta finish this run. Just gonna not soft lock on Mother Brain or die on Mother Brain. Man, if either of those happens, I will be sad, but that's okay. That's what I gotta keep telling myself. <laughs> It'll be okay. It's all gonna be okay. It's our time right here. That's their time. Our time right here, guys. I forget the quote. The Goonies quote. <laughs> they put <laughs> they put these Metroids in such tricky places, man. It's so annoying. It's like, yeah, look at that. It's like they appear in anyway, as I'm like I'm trying to talk and concentrate at the same time and not succeeding but um yeah they put these Metroids in such tricky places cause like you're like shooting but like somehow they evade your like ice shots which like I don't know I don't know how that works but Probably just need to learn to play, but... Here, 
still gotta learn the baby skip. <laughs> Not haven't haven't really even practiced it at all yet, so just another thing we could do to save us a little bit of time in Torian. I, I don't think it's gonna save us as much time as like uh, learning the Fantoon fight would, but yeah. Anyway, I'm having fun with some other strats right now, so we'll save it for later. Hey. Okay. <sighs> yeah, this route I I can do a little bit less. Uh, menuing, right? Because I don't have to, when we're getting the water tank in the wrecked ship, we don't have to do any menuing, and then I don't have to do any menuing after we get Ice Beam, because I'm going down through the Krokemeyer route instead of trying to go back through the gates. Yeah, speaking of tricks I haven't learned yet, there's a skip for this room that I haven't learned where you can, uh, you don't have to fight all these guys, which I keep mentioning and I've, you know, I've never demonstrated, so. Anyway, I should start learning the trick because it seems annoying. <laughs> which is apparently my razor for whether or not something should be, uh, learned. Uh, should be practiced. Oh, nice. Can somebody explain this one to me? <laughs> uh, Alright, please don't kill me. <laughs> yeah, pretty close. Um, Alright, well, we're not doing the stand-up glitch this time, so... <laughs> At least uh, we didn't die, so... That's good. I was pretty af pretty afraid we were going to die right there, but this actually is fine. Yeah, maybe, maybe I had too much life? I don't know. Oh yeah, we're actually at a really good pace, huh? Maybe not really good, but a decent pace. Definitely a decent pace. Close to a PB for 100%. Definitely a PB for this route, obviously. <laughs> Metroid. So sad. Ugh. 
Alrighty. That wasn't the fastest, but whatever. But <laughs> we didn't soft lock, so there's that. Yeah, my new strategy is not soft locking. Oh my gosh, what was that? <laughs> actually shaping up to be the worst escape of all time by a person. <laughs> oh, So that actually is a new PB. I, uh, I've actually been playing in my other, the non-early croc route, I also have a new PB, which is like 142.30. So I think this one, I mean, obviously beats that by, you know, six seconds. So, yay. Congrats me on my PB. <laughs> um, not actually congrats, because... It's probably going to be pretty short-lived. I'm still, you know, learning a lot. Oh, man, we did it. Oops. Ah. That's interesting. Is that what I, is that my best one so far? I feel like I I got a 110, but maybe not. I think it's probably tied with my previous PB. Anyway, cool. So yeah, that's the early crack route. Um, I think uh, it's a little bit easier difficulty-wise probably than uh, the normal route that I do because like yeah, you have more um, health in the wrecked ship and you don't have to like. I don't know, there's just some certain parts, like, you don't have to, like, learn how to fight Dragon differently than you normally would in a casual playthrough. Just, uh, things like that, I guess, that, uh, make it a little bit easier than the, uh, not early croc route. <laughs> so. Yeah. It doesn't seem that much slower, either. I guess, like, that's the weird thing, too, where I'm, like... I didn't feel like I played that well, uh, so I guess I'm just wondering, I'm like, how did I save time from, you know, my PB? But I guess, I guess the thing is that, like, especially because I'm, like, not that good at the ice glitch, you know, to get spring ball, so, like, that time, that oftentimes will, like, cost me like a minute or something of just like going into that room and jumping up there trying to freeze that guy into the right position and then missing it having to go back you know do the door transitions again blah 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 so it's probably a little bit of like you know saving some time getting spring ball saving a little bit of time in the wrecked ship so i know like i've had playthroughs where i'm in the wrecked ship and i'm like killing those little like uh, floating nebula dudes, I think they're called atomics, but yeah, so like, I'm like farming those guys for health, so I don't, I, like with the extra energy tank after Krokemeyer, 
I definitely don't feel like it's that tight, and so I don't end up doing that farming. So I probably save a little bit of time in the wrecked ship because of that. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm saving any time on, like, Dragon at this point anyway. I probably could be if I was, like, uh, good at the, the grapple beam kill. Because you can kind of just, like, if you get gooped, uh, and then he grabs you. If you play it right, you can like actually uh, grapple right onto the, one of those first things, and then you can, you know, you can make it a really quick fight. But I'm missing that currently, so that's fine. I mean, that would be a way that I could make this, uh, I could improve this this time. That like I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't be able to get the same benefits doing the old route, but. So yeah, anyway. All right, uh, that's it. So I guess I'll uh, see you guys next mission. All right, bye.